Now let us peep into the industrial society of Europe at that time and the changes that the society saw at this time. First of all, this was a period of great industrialization. Nearly all the countries saw industrialization and when industrialization occurs, then big cities crop up, then the railways actually develop. That is, you see lot of all round development because of the industrialization. That is one side of the picture. But the other side of the picture is very, very grim of industrialization. It is so that due to industrialization, not only the men, but also the women and small children started working in hazardous conditions in the factories, in the mines and the working hours were very, very long. And since so many people moved from the rural areas to the urban areas in search of jobs, that is why unemployment was on its peak at this time. Since people were migrating from the rural areas, there was scarcity of houses, the ventilation in the houses was bad and also the drainage system and other such requirements were on the lower side. Then the liberals and the radicals actually controlled nearly all the industries in the world and these people had a different mindset now. They were not those old autocratic ones who just believed that the money is just theirs. They believed that they have to value the individual's effort. So they were ready to go a step forward in order to reach the common masses. The great revolutions take, took place in Europe at this time due to industrialization, due to mobilization, due to the changes which the world saw and also due to education. And especially the revolutions were witnessed in countries like France, Italy, Germany and Russia. And that is what the world was actually looking forward to, bringing about a new era in the history of the world. And we shall be talking about the great changes which occurred in Russia at this time in the next clipping.